Today, guys, I quit my job. But before I talk about it, let's go on a little trip. So yeah guys, we out here at Chikisaki Beach in Chikisaki Kanagawa, Japan. And feels good to be out and about enjoying the nice nice weather. I even had to take my uh, my coat off because it's uh it's actually not that bad out to be honest. It's a little breezy but not too bad. This shirt, lovely shirt from Nonsense. Fuck the noise, by the way. <laughs> it's nice and thick, so it's not too bad, just sit out here chilling with the sun, beating on my face. So let's get into talking about why I left. So, as you guys know, I graduated from my university, Lakeland University of Japan, August of 2022, woo, just last year, time's recording, and spirits are running high. You know, it's the first of my family to graduate, felt like things are finally on the up and up for the old Andy San San Modesto and was ready to move on to the next phase of my life and to uh, find a job so I can get a work visa and continue my stay out here in Japan. It took me about three weeks after I graduated to find a job and it was just a little part-time job. I'm not going to get into who my employer was or anything like that um, just for privacy reasons but suffice it to say they allowed me to use my creative skills and let me do a lot of photography, videography for their company. And things were going pretty well for a while. You know, even though I wasn't getting paid a whole lot initially, uh, the reason I took the gig was they were looking to eventually hire for full time and to increase my salary. You know, I went out with the boss and she said that, you know, you could see double, maybe even triple your salary in the next coming months. So I figured, you know, we'll just kind of gum on, we'll just kind of gut through it for the time being, and then we'll eventually get that uh, bump in pay and the full time gig and the visa and all that fun stuff. Needless to say, spoiler alert, didn't happen, but it took me a while to just kind of realize that it's what 
they hired me for wasn't quite what they were looking for. You know, because for me, I just wanted to make videos and, uh, and photos and stuff and then put them up on their website and their social media and just kind of go from there. But they were looking for more of a marketing strategist, someone who's good with numbers and presentations and can, you know, put together a nice PowerPoint presentation. And to be honest, that's not really me. You know, I'm much more in tuned with, uh, with intuition and things. And of course I can point to examples of where utilizing social media and stuff helped to better a business. I pointed to several of them, in fact, for my interview. They were very impressed with that, which is how I got the job in the first place. But they were just looking for somebody to just bump their numbers to make them look good. You know, they didn't really care about building up any sort of brand awareness and doing things, you know, the right way. They just wanted a bunch of fancy numbers they can look at and, you know, <laughs> just brag to their friends about how many subscribers and how many views their videos got and use that as leverage without actually putting in the work, you know. And I'd made several videos for them in the five, almost six months since working for them. I had put together, before I left, I'd put together a total of about 30, 31 to 35 videos in total. Hey, yeah, sorry about the interruption. Uh, the Seahawks were flying overhead and I was getting a little worried they were gonna start swooping down, even though I don't have any food, so sorry guys. <laughs> but in any event, like I was saying, um, we put together a whole bunch of stuff. Well, I put together a whole bunch of stuff for them. I was the only one who knew how to edit videos and, you know, did their photography and things like that. And, you know, I would share uh, photos and videos and stuff so that way the other interns could get them out on social media and stuff. And when I first started working for them, I was pretty much like the only one involved with marketing, whether it came to putting stuff up on the website or their social media, making videos, going out and uh, filming, taking pictures of stuff. That was all me. And it was really rough at first, but like uh, like the boss said, you know, once we get some more people in, then you know you'll be able to take a different role and you'll be able to just make videos and stuff. So I was like, all right, cool, cool. Eventually, I just kind of got on through it, <laughs> and uh, once they started hiring some some new interns, then a lot of my roles and responsibilities were given to them. So I would just hand off the video footage and the pictures and stuff like that to them. They'll put it up on the websites and stuff and just kind of go from there. Sorry, the hawks are still flying overhead. I swear I ain't got no food, guys. So anyway, when the holidays came last year, they had left to go see family and stuff. And they pretty much kind of eased up on me. So I took that time to just grind, work on videos, and you know when they came back from holiday the idea was we we're gonna launch a new YouTube channel and just put out all the new videos and you know just go gangbusters with it they pulled me into a meeting and I'm not gonna get into the full detail of the conversation but basically they were not pleased with the fact that I was still working on the videos they wanted a full marketing strategy on how everything was going to, to pan out. They wanted like numbers and graphs and all this other anecdotal evidence and they also wanted me to do the videos and they also wanted me to revise certain things and meanwhile they hadn't like talked to me at all the past like month or two and now they're just coming back and they're just hammering me with all this stuff. Meanwhile I was just constantly giving them progress reports and everything and not even so much as a, okay, Andy, good job. Just nothing. So after that meeting, they didn't say this directly, of course, but they gave me the idea that you basically either gonna have to quit or we're gonna fire your ass. So that's when I quickly put together a plan to, uh, to get out of there. Cause I already was looking for another job at that point. Cause you know, like I said, the pay is really low, the commute is just god-awful, and 
they were just really starting to to wear on my patience and they were expecting way too much for me for how little they were paying me but after that uh, meeting which was last month I decided to just just say fuck it put in my notice cuz I just gotten real real sick and tired of how they were treating me and you know I felt like I had gone above and beyond for that company you know I brought in my own equipment I bought extra equipment to use for those shoots and they just didn't care they just wanted a whole fuck ton of videos and they just didn't care pretty much put me in a quit or get fired kind of situation so I was like I bet so put in my notice I was looking for uh, for other positions continuing to anyway I ran across some people actually it was out in Shonan, oddly enough. Not in Chigasaki, but uh, elsewhere. And he had a friend who was looking to leave their position, and they were looking for someone to take their place. So again, just for privacy reasons, I'm not gonna get into who it was, or what the position is, or any of that stuff, because, you know, privacy, and also, at the time of this recording, it's not exactly a done deal yet. <laughs> so, don't wanna jinx it, right? But basically, they kind of gave me the rundown of what the position is. It's not a creative position. It's not like me shooting videos and stuff. It's uh, much more administrative. But it does utilize certain aspects of my career that uh, I can handle. We'll just put it that way for the time being. Maybe later I'll, I'll talk about it. But for now, I'll just leave it at that. So I got his contact info. Sent him my resume. He sent his resume up to a supervisor, then sent me a link to the actual job just to apply as a formality. Got that all set up. Got my first interview set up with the company. They really liked me. It set me up for a second interview. They really liked me. And right now, time's recording. I'm just waiting on a response from them just to see if, you know, I'm good to go or uh, maybe not so much. And that's where things stand right now. Obviously, they're not the only ones that I'm talking to right now. I have a bunch of other potential jobs lined up right now, just in case they decide to reject me for whatever reason. You know, the main hiring season in Japan is well upon us. Usually around late February, early March is when you see a lot of people looking to hire out in Japan. And just for the record, technically, yes, Japan is always hiring, just like any country. But I'm talking like the main hiring seasons are usually in the spring. So around, like I said, late February, March, leading into probably the end of April, early May. So this is kind of high time to really be getting into job hunting and actually seeing some success, success from that. So I've applied to a couple other different companies. I have some others uh, just bookmarked for the time being. Um, so things fall through. We got those to rely on. Uh, I still have my freelance, my freelance gigs. So I'll have those to rely on as well as some savings and things. Not much, but I have a little bit saved up and uh, some other means of making money should things go sideways. But overall, man, in a long roundabout way, I'm feeling very positive about the future. For the first time in a long time, I feel free. You know, this is uh, technically my first day not working for <laughs> that company anymore. And it feels good, man. It feels good. I'm just waiting for uh, this prospective company to give me a call back. And I already told them that the first day I could start would be next Monday, time's recording. So, you know, if they give me the go ahead, I'll just take this week off, chill out, maybe work on a few videos here and there for myself or for others. Don't know yet. See, see where things go. But, uh, yeah, feeling really good. Like I was saying in some of my other videos, you know, it's just been all smiles since that second interview and 
you know, there there been some some moments of of nervousness, and especially for me, I don't like to just quit a job without already having one lined up. Even though I'm pretty sure, you know, that this job is gonna accept me, but they haven't given me a job offer for certain yet. But that's not something I normally do. Normally, if I would were to quit a job, I would already have one lined up, put in my two weeks, and deuce. But uh, I don't know, man. Some some deep inside was telling me you just got to get the fuck out of there, man. You know, you've been you've been there too long. They're just gonna continue to wear you down. They don't really give a shit about you, and you just need to move on. So that's what I did. And honestly, overall, with the uh, the company I just quit, I will say that I did enjoy making the videos and taking the pictures and going to all these cool places. I really did enjoy that. And my coworkers were great as well. I didn't really talk to them too much because obviously language barrier and also I was busy with videos and stuff anyway. But, you know, for a couple minutes, just kind of in between stuff, we talk a little bit and they're lovely people as well. Uh, but didn't quite get along so well with the, uh, the head honcho. So that kind of led me to uh, quitting the position. Among the other reasons I said earlier, low pay, shit commute, and uh, really no chance for advancement because I was the only video guy and they weren't looking to hire other video people. You know, even after I put in my notice, you know, I'd, I'd mention to them, like, if you're looking to, to train somebody or have me hand off footage to somebody for them to put together, I'm more than happy to, to help however I can during this process. And they never said a word about that. They just wanted me to keep working on the videos and, you know, do a bunch of edits and stuff for videos that were already done and uploaded and, and ready to go. Just kind of goes to show where, where their thoughts were with the whole uh, YouTube thing. So, yeah. So, just want to thank you guys for tuning in to this long, rambly-ass vlog on the beach out here at Chigasaki. It's a lovely place, by the way. From here, it's, uh, it's onward and upward. Feeling real positive about things moving forward. So, with that said, guys, this is Andy. Sign up for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.